Did we just discover a pill that could possibly make our dogs live longer? The drug called rapamycin was discovered in 1964 by a microbiologist working at the University of Montreal. After gathering samples of soil to discover why the natives didn't contract tetanus despite the bacteria being in favorable conditions, the scientists made another discovery. And after doing the research, scientists have found that the drug has the ability of possibly prolonging the inevitable Death. So they started testing this theory on mice back in 2009 at Jackson Laboratories in Maine. And it turns out this wonderful drug actually prolonged the lives of lab mice by 6 months or longer. So looking further into this, the testing has now been moved to dogs. According to the researchers at the University of Washington, 16 dogs were given rapamycin and had their hearts imaged to see how the drug was reacting with it. These dogs took the drug for 10 weeks and the research has been discussed at conferences, but their findings have yet to be published. With that being said, a couple who are the proud owners of Sherman and Momo shared their story with CNN. After their original owners dropped the two dogs off at a spa, she was never heard from again with her phone disconnected at all. So Paola Anderson realized she had just adopted two dogs. The next day, the eight-year-old Pomeranian Sherman was howling in pain. After being rushed to the ER, it was determined he had pancreatitis. Thankfully, he made a full recovery before having a stroke in 2015. He was given two weeks to live unless he had a surgery, which only had a 20% success rate. Well, it seems all hope was lost for the 13-year-old dog, but Anderson and her partner didn't want to give up so easily, so they went to a herbalist who they've used before. After some research, it was determined the answer to their problems might be a new drug called rapamycin. The story is finally coming full circle, guys. So after the couple did the research into this drug, they actually stumbled upon the trial at the University of Washington. They tried to submit their dog to be part of the trial, however the requirements for dogs to be tested were as followed. At least 40 pounds and healthy. Unfortunately, Sherman was neither of those things. That didn't stop Anderson though, telling CNN, We knew we could go to Mexico and get rapamycin or order it online, but we wanted to be guided by a veterinarian, by a professional. And after seeing five different vets who refused to prescribe the drug, finally number six allowed it. This happened a month after Sherman's stroke, which caused him to only eat if being hand fed. He couldn't walk either. And then he took this magical pill and a week later he was walking and eating by himself. Fast forward another 16 months and Sherman was active and running around like a puppy. So there have been reports of the drug successfully working on other dogs as well, but there seems to be some concern about the side effects. There are similar drugs to that of rapamycin which has been used on humans to treat cancer and organ transplant patients. And these side effects include infection, cancer, and diabetes to name a few. However, researchers believe these side effects could be caused because those taking the drugs were already sick with serious illnesses. Other dogs being tested none have showed side effects. On top of this, 218 elderly volunteers took the drug and it enhanced their response to the flu vaccine by 20%. According to CNN, of the 53 patients on the lowest dose of rapamycin, 22 suffered some side effects, most commonly being mouth sores. But doctors believe the side effects can be managed if the patient is given the right dose of the drug. So although many scientists and researchers seem skeptical that this pill really can't make a dog or even a human live longer, it seems there may be a chance. But until anything is confirmed, I don't think anyone wants to lose their job, so it seems they'll be keeping their info on the down. Low. And now it's comment time with Jared. Yay! <laughs> So in the video we did titled Teen Arrested After Hiring Killer Clown, Fitzgerald Rudas said, please keep on making more clown vids, they are so interesting. Well, we're gonna make clown vids if there's more clown stories, which I kinda hope there aren't, but if there are, we definitely will. Thanks for enjoying the videos though. Nivengo said, I live in England and the same stuff is happening. So maybe we'll make a video on clowns in England next. I guess Mr. Fitzgerald will get his wish. <laughs> Mallory Macklin said, Jared, you're gonna have to be less attractive so I can pay attention to what you're saying. Might I suggest an I'm with her t-shirt? That'll knock the lust right out of me. <laughs> when I read this originally, I actually laughed really hard, which is why I mentioned it in this video. Mallory, I think you're really funny. That was actually a really funny comment. And I do really appreciate the compliment, but uh, you should pay attention to what I'm saying because I tell you the news, which is important to know. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for sticking around and watching this video. Drop me a comment down below so I can answer it in our next video, and I'll see you soon.